टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एक्यूट करोनरी अक्लूजन एक्यूट करोनरी अक्लूजन इन इज वन ऑफ द टाइप ऑफ इस्कीमिक हार्ट डिजीज इन आवर लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिस्कस दैट इस्कीमिक हार्ट डिजीज इस्कीमिक हार्ट डिजीज हैज बेसिकली टू टाइप्स एक्यूट एंड क्रॉनिक एंड इस्कीमिक हार्ट डिजीज इज ड्यू टू एनी कंडीशन विच बेसिकली डिक्रीज इज द ब्लड फ्लो टू द हार्ट मसल वी हैव डिस्कस दैट द हार्ट मसल्स और द हार्ट इज बींग इज बेसिकली सप्लाइड विथ टू मेन ब्लड वेसल्स द राइट कॉर्नरी आर्टरी एंड द लेफ्ट कॉर्नरी आर्टरी आर सी ए एंड एल सी ए नो दीज आर द टू मेन वेसल्स विच बेसिकली सप्लाई द मसल्स ऑफ द हार्ट if the blood flow through these vessels or uh, any any condition which interferes with the blood flow through these vessels if it decreases the blood uh, blood flow or the supply of blood to the heart muscles it will be labeled as ischemic heart disease that condition can be basically uh, sudden in onset or uh, slow in onset now we are going to uh, focus the acute onset or the acute coronary occlusion the the conditions which will suddenly decrease the acute uh, the blood flow to the coronary vessels now in our last lecture we discussed that the most common cause the most common cause of acute coronary occlusion is atherosclerosis atherosclerosis and to understand atherosclerosis uh, we discussed uh, it in detail i will just summarize it and then we will go towards the acute coronary occlusion now basically whenever acute coronary occlusion occurs there is a background atherosclerosis present it uh, acute coronary occlusion very rarely occur in a normal coronary vessels most of the time when acute coronary occlusion occurs there is some background atherosclerosis or some lipid deposition now to understand the atherosclerosis i will just summarize this brief summarize it briefly we will take this part of the uh, coronary vessels and we will enlarge it over here this is the uh, blood vessel now what happens in the atherosclerosis is that there is deposition of cholesterol or lipids and we discussed previously that this uh, deposition of cholesterol or lipids is because there is excess of lipids or cholesterol in the body and that excess could be due to increase in take in the diet or due to sedentary lifestyle no exercise and no activity and it could be due to uh, abnormal metabolism of the lipids or cholesterol now when the position of cholesterol has occur this deposition is basically below the endothelial surface this is basically cross sectional area of the this blood vessel this is cross sectional area of this blood vessel or any part of this uh, blood vessel the coronary vessel and we see there is lipids uh, or cholesterol present below the endothelium now after deposition of the uh, uh, cholesterol there is deposition of fibrous tissue that is something which we discussed previously as well and after deposition of fibrous tissue there is deposition of calcium and finally there is a uh, formation of plaque atherosclerotic plaque this plaque is basically protruding inside the coronary vessel this plaque is basically protruding inside the coronary vessel and it is basically sort of decreasing the caliber or the width of the uh, coronary vessel so the blood cannot easily pass through this vessel blood cannot easily pass through this portion because it is protruding in the vessel and it is decreasing the area for the blood flow now sometimes sometimes this surface area or the surf surface endothelial cells they get damaged due to this protruding atherosclerotic plaque or plaque and then due to damage of the endothelium due to damage of the endothelium platelets come platelets which are normally present in the blood 
they starts adhering to this damaged area and after deposition of platelets there is deposition of fibrin and after deposition of fibrin there is deposition of red blood cells and finally there is pro, uh, there is formation of a clot a blood clot is formed here and once the blood clot is formed here the blood cannot move forward so if the clot has formed at this level blood will not be supplied to the remaining uh, portion of the uh, heart muscles so this will lead to if this process occurs suddenly if this process occurs suddenly now the atherosclerosis process can occur slowly as well it can take weeks months and years but the damage to the endothelium the damage to the endothelial cells and then the formation of the blood clot it it can occur suddenly or slowly so if it occurs suddenly then it will be labeled as acute coronary occlusion it will be labeled as acute coronary occlusion this is basically one cause for the this is basically one cause of the acute coronary occlusion that is due to the formation of clot a blood clot on the atherosclerotic plaque or due to damage caused by the atherosclerotic plaque now if this clot it remains here if this blood clot remains here at this point if it remains at this point it will be labeled as thrombus and the process will be known as thrombosis it will be labeled as thrombus this clot formation will be labeled as thrombus and the process will be labeled as thrombosis and if it this is if it this if this clot gets get gets dislodged from this place and it goes if it goes forward and it blocks for example it is dislodged from this point and it comes to this point and blocks this this side then it will be labeled as embolus and the process is known as embolism embolism so acute coronary occlusion can be due to the formation of a thrombus in the blood vessel and the secondly acute coronary occlusion can occur also occur due to the spasm of the coronary vessel suppose for example this plaque this atherosclerotic plaque it is basically inter, uh, irritating the muscles it is irritating the muscles which are present in the blood vessel these are the smooth muscles which are basically present in the vessel in this coronary vessel if this plaque irritate these muscles these these muscles they can get into spasm they can uh, they can contract and they can decrease the caliber of this coronary vessel and due to which acute coronary occlusion can occur but atherosclerosis atherosclerotic plaque or atherosclerosis is involved in the acute coronary occlusion most of the time acute coronary syndrome uh, acute coronary occlusion will almost never occur if there is a clean coronary vessel if there is no atherosclerosis then the possibility of acute coronary occlusion is almost nil so acute coronary occlusion it can either occur due to the formation of a thrombus or it can occur due to the spasm it can occur due to spasm of muscles in the coronary vessel how it occurs due to the thrombus formation it occurs due to the process of atherosclerosis which is basically uh, uh, which is basically the deposition of cholesterol below this endothelium and that uh, deposition of cholesterol below the endothelium forms atherosclerotic plaque or plaque with the help of uh, fibrous tissue and calcification that plaque basically in uh, protrudes into the blood vessel and it basically decreases the blood flow to the uh, blood flow in the coronary vessel and if it damages the endothelial surface then platelets would adhere here and fibrin will be deposited and that will trap the red blood cells and a clot will occur 
when the clot will be formed that will be labeled as thrombus and the process will be labeled as thrombosis that thrombus formation can stop the blood flow in the vessel and it will lead to acute coronary occlusion this vessel will get occluded so it is and it will get occluded suddenly on background of on background of atherosclerosis it will occur occur suddenly and it will occur in the coronary vessel so it will be labeled as acute coronary occlusion sudden occlusion occurring in the coronary vessels now this occlusion acute sudden uh, acute coronary occlusion can also occur due to the spasm of muscles the smooth muscles present in the coronary vessels can get into the spasm due to the irritation of these um, atherosclerotic plaques and these both conditions these both conditions will decrease or will, will stop the blood flow to the that part of the heart muscles which is being supplied with that specific artery if if occlusion occurs in rca then right side will be damaged or uh, other sides which are being supplied by this vessel if occlusion occurs in this artery then the, the portions of the heart which are being supplied by lca will get damaged now depending upon the site or uh, the the portion of the heart which is being supplied by that specific artery or vessel will get damaged when occlusion of that part occurs so that's all about acute coronary occlusion which can either occur due to the formation of thrombus or due to the spasm of the coronary blood vessels and uh, next we are going to discuss the myocardial infarction in detail thanks a lot for watching the video